fire retardant chemicals in mattresses. What is this all about? Well, this video is just going to be a teaser. I'm just going to whet your appetite. Please go to my complete mattress education video where I'm going to give you tons and tons of detail. What am I talking about? Well, in 2007, the Consumer Product Safety Commission began requiring all mattresses sold in the United States must be flame retardant. There's only one way to meet the flame retardant standards, and that's to infuse the surface materials with chemicals. There are companies out there that claim they use organic materials, and they are not telling you the whole story. Yes, they have some materials that are organic that have flame retardant properties, but they're not including to you that they still have to put chemicals in with those materials. And the other thing is there's some companies that are using silica, which is a known respiratory irritant. You know, you've seen the silica packets that come in electronic boxes. It says do not consume. Uh, it's pretty harmful. I, I'm not even sure it may even be deadly if you consumed it. Well, how would you like to breathe it out of, out of your mattress every day? Well, I have a copy of the Consumer Product Safety Commission's uh, risk assessment, the potential health effects of the use of fire retardant chemicals in mattresses. They list the chemicals in here that they know manufacturers are going to use, and they admit they're all toxic. Now, they claim there's not enough chemicals in them to harm anyone. They claim that these chemicals stay in the bed and don't get out. But I've had enough people contact me and tell me they've gotten sick from a new mattress to prove that, that none of that's true. Now, this is just a teaser. I'm only going to give you enough information to whet your appetite. Please go watch my complete mattress education video. Well, I had a woman contact me from Illinois that had, had bought a, bri a, a big brand name mattress, the biggest manufacturer in the United States, and it, it gave her permanent neurological damage. She sent me a sample of that mattress. She kept it because she didn't want to sleep in it no more, but she thought she would sue this company for making her sick, giving her permanent neurological damage. So she had the mattress in storage. She sent me a sample piece. I sent it to a lab in Christiansburg and had it tested for antimony because that's what she found she was overdosed with. She had a hair analysis done and it showed she was, had high levels of antimony. That mattress had 3,500 times the level of antimony than is considered safe. It was overdosed. Now, another lady bought a big brand name mattress for her seven-year-old daughter. And her seven-year-old daughter started it into puberty. Her doctor says it's something environmental. You've got to do a process of elimination to figure out what's causing it. She finally figured out maybe it's that mattress they bought her. So they got her an organic mattress. And fortunately, her seven-year-old daughter's puberty reversed itself. She did a little research on the internet and found a copy of an article by the National Institutes of Health showing where one of the brominated chemicals used as flame retardants mimics estrogen. Now I tell all of this and I show all of this in my complete mattress education video. I'm not going to prove all that here. This is a teaser. This is to sort of get you understanding and what I'm doing. I want you to see that video. It's an hour. It's over an hour long. It's worth watching because the reason it takes an hour is because I prove everything I'm claiming. All I'm going to do is make some claims in this to whet your appetite. All mattresses sold in the United States must be flame retardant. All mattresses are having chemicals and tons and tons of people are having thyroid issues, uh, respiratory issues, fatigue and, and uh, memory issues that's coming from the heavy metal in these mattresses. The reason I'm sharing with this, this with you is because my mattresses have no flame retardant chemicals, no flame retardancy. You don't need a flame proof mattress. In the complete mattress education, I show you why the Consumer Product Safety Commission, the Consumer Product Safety Commission began requiring these mattresses to be flame retardant. They did not do this for your safety. They did it to make the chemical industry rich. And I prove that in my video. Go watch it so that you are an educated consumer. Do not just trust a salesman when you go into a mattress store. He is, a, is simply regurgitating what the mattress manufacturer's reps told him, which the mattress manufacturers have come up with slick marketing tactics to tell them. I'm Lee Carter. Thanks for watching.